Is that the lowest it can go? Hi, I'm making pancakes. <laughs> Guess who's making pancakes? Hi everyone, it's probably Friday or the weekend by the time you watch this, but for us, it's pancake, pancake day. day. We are gonna try savory and sweet toppings for our pancakes this year. Usually we only do the sweet ones. And we're also gonna try doing gluten-free pancakes this year. And dairy Mostly free. for me, and dairy free. Mostly for me, but you've decided to join me. We've never had it before, so we're not sure how good it will turn out, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna talk you through our ingredients that we bought for our pancakes now. So we'll be having our pancakes for our lunch today. Our savory option will include mushrooms, avocado, red bell pepper, and some goat's cheese, and also black olives, because I love them. And then for the sweet option, we have two versions, lemons with icing sugar or caster sugar, and then also chocolate and strawberries. And then we've got this chocolate, which is vegan and from the free from section, which is dairy, gluten, egg, and nut free. So I'll be melting this down later to make um, the melted chocolate for the toppings. So let's make the pancakes now. So we're gonna begin. So I've got the pan on really low heat at the moment and I've just uh, greased it very lightly with some butter. Um, but we're gonna start with the dry ingredients first. Oh, first off, I want to give credit to our friend Anika for this pancake recipe. I have been making this pancake recipe for a few years now after she shared it, I think, on her Instagram or something. And I love it. Um, I used to make it just the normal way with normal plain flour and milk. And today's the first time I'm trying it gluten and dairy free. So I hope it still turns out great because her pancake recipe has kept our tummy toppy for a few years now. Thank you, Anika. And Thanks, Anika. Yes. So we start with the dry ingredients. Do you guys prefer thick or thin pancakes? Because we love thin. We love crisps. We love crisps. So we're ready with our dry ingredients. I feel like I'm really looking high here, but this is the only angle we could get. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with dry ingredients. So do you want to put them in? Two cups of plain flour. And like I said, we are using gluten-free plain flour, which is this one. You can get them in Tesco's. That's where we shop most of our gluten-free stuff. Goes into this nice uh, mixing bowl. You can put that straight in the sink. Okay. And then? And then we add four tablespoons of sugar. And I'm using caster sugar today. <laughs> I've never made pancakes before, so I'm then. Half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to use some Himalayan salt. I never remember. Half. Okay. Oh, we've got a white, beige, and I want them to come out golden, that's why I use the golden caster sugar. So half a teaspoon of salt. Finally, a pinch of baking powder. We're using the Dr. Oatco one. Okay. So I put in a quarter um, of the baking powder. So you can mix that together lightly with this. Until well mixed. He likes to cook in the air. He even cuts potatoes in the air. You know there's a worktop here, right? I'm doing it like this so you can see me. <laughs> Restrictions. So those are our dry ingredients. Nice and mixed, good job. Okay, so to this we're gonna add one and a half cups of our dairy-free milk. I prefer oat milk, so that's what we're gonna be using here. And a half. One cup of water coming. I put it in. And then we have vanilla extract, which is an ingredient I love. Um, the recipe says one and a half, but if a little bit more goes in, it's okay. So um, one and a half teaspoons, that is. And then finally, it's the eggs. So this recipe requires four eggs. It does make a lot of pancakes. Can't actually remember. I feel like it's more than 12 or around 12. This is when the batter starts coming together and looking like pancake batter, how it's meant to look. Okay, success. All right. Um, 
we're ready to start cooking the pancakes but before we do that I'm just going to start melting the chocolate um, very slowly on a low heat just so that it's ready for when we need it. So we cut the mushrooms, now we kind of got it. Yeah, I'm going to use the mincer to mince the garlic um, and put it into the melted butter but these garlics are quite huge so I'm going to cut them in half before we use the mincer so they don't roll around everywhere. Le mincer. Yeah, just go like this. And it does this. But it's very thick garlic, so I need to do that again. You just need to push hard. Yeah, I'm not very really strong. Oh my god, look at the chocolate. Yum. Give it to him because he has more muscles. So garlic can go straight into the butter. Mushrooms going in now. They go into the garlic butter bowl. They're gonna taste so good. In case you're wondering, the butter is also dairy free. It's a plant based one. So what does it say? Oh, dairy free. Yeah. Completely plant based. Okay, so in with the peppers. Okay, I'm gonna start with the first pancake to get things going. Um, Stefan's just finishing up some of the prep for our savory pancakes. So he's gonna cut down avocado and olives for us. And I am gonna try this. So I use this spoon for measurement. Um, I don't know, it's just like this. It's like the perfect amount for the pan that I have. Our friend Anika says she uses an ice cream scoop and I guess other people use different things like a ladle. I guess just use whatever works for you. Cool, I'm nervous. Okay, so I can see that the brown has started forming on the edges, so I'm just gonna test and see if I can lift it, and I can, so this is a good sign. Ooh. Wow, that is okay. great. Why is it like doing that, like a chapati? I'm gonna try. It's making balls, is it supposed to be smells making so bubbles? Good. Yeah, it smells nice. It smells so good. Okay, look, go down low. Can you see that it's making like... Yeah. <laughs> It looks nice. I hope it tastes good. We have tried gluten-free flour in other recipes and I think we were using it the wrong way or without the right combination of ingredients. So it does take some time to get used to. But this flour, I'm quite impressed with it actually. The first time and the pancake looks really nice. And I think using golden caster sugar helped as well. This is the flour again if any of you guys want to try it. Okay, so I left it too long on the second side. So now I know. <laughs> this side looks great. I told you, the first pancake always goes. We're gonna soon taste our savory pancakes. It's all laid out in the table, just waiting for the pancakes to be done now. So now we've got all the pancakes ready with all our toppings. And we're ready to tuck in. We've got a selection of toppings as you guys have seen. And you've never tried savory pancakes, so I think you should go first. I'm sure it's going to taste awesome. Do you want some salad on it? I don't know if you want to roll yours up or have it open. I think I'll put some in the middle and then roll it up. I think I'll just put it on top. You put a knife and fork, so I felt like eating it. I know. Now. I'll have it both ways then. One open and one... I feel like I'm making a subway. Same. <laughs> I made long. mine! Oh, I can eat it like this. I can roll it and eat it yeah. with the thing. I'm gonna taste it and take a bit from here. Isn't it harder unfolded? I don't know. Maybe. Mmm. Is good? Does it taste like normal mm. crap? Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Yeah. Do you have it? Yeah. It's the same. I love it rolled. It tastes the same as normal crap. Gluten free, dairy free. And the toppings are yummy. I love savory pancakes. Yeah. Now, ready for dessert. I'm going to make some chocolate and vanilla ice cream pancakes. Here is the ice cream. We've got some vanilla ice cream, dairy free, gluten free, made with soy. Hopefully it tastes good. So now I'm gonna put chocolate on top. Oh, you're gonna make it here? Yeah. Yum.
now we're ready to eat the dessert pancakes and I have in mind chocolate and vanilla ice cream. And I've got the melted chocolate and the strawberries with a bit of icing sugar on top. Should we tuck in? Yeah. Mm. This one's a bit crispier. The chocolate's really nice. The ice cream's great. Delicious. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our sweet pancakes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are gonna try the recipe, let us know below. And if you have any recommendations for us for pancake toppings, let us know, because we have some batter left over. Oh, good. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Anything else you wanna add? So good. For all those people who think there's not a lot of options in gluten and dairy, you have to try this. Mmm, it's so good with ice cream. See you in our next vlog. Oh, Bye. Bye guys, see you Bye. in the next vlog.